In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a walkthrough of the brand new version of Lightroom version 5.0 released on October 25th, 2021. With this update comes some big new changes with Lightroom, so definitely make sure you watch all the way to the very end. So let's jump right into it. Lightroom version 5.0 is a pretty big upgrade for Lightroom and it comes with a lot of awesome new features. So first things first, let's start with our sidebar here. As you can see, we have a new recent edits tab. If you tap on that, it's going to show you all of the recent edits that you've done within Lightroom. So that is very nice for organization. If we go back to all photos, we're going to be working on some photos today of my friend Amanda that we captured at Papago Park in Phoenix, Arizona. These are some really awesome shots that we did with my wide angle lens and I figured, you know, these would probably be great examples for this tutorial. So as you can see, we have this photo of Amanda. It's a raw photo taken with my Sony a6000. So as you can see over on the right hand side here, things have changed. We actually have the brush tool gone now and it's replaced with this new masking tool. So if we select the masking tool, as you can see, our brush is now in here along with the linear gradient and radial gradient. We also now have a select subject option as well as a select sky option. And we have a new color range and luminance range. For the sake of this video, let's start with the select subject. So this is really cool because once I press this, it's going to detect the subject. As you can see here, the software has found Amanda. We can see up here a outline of her. And actually, if I hover over it, it perfectly outlines her in the shot. So that is super cool. Now, any edits that I make to Amanda are only going to be applied to her. So as you can see, if I raise the exposure or lower it, it only affects her. The software can also detect the sky. So if I hit select sky, it'll now analyze and look for the sky in the image. And now if I hover over the sky, it highlights only the sky. So that is really awesome. So now that I've created a mask for the sky and a mask for Amanda, I'm going to edit these real quick and we're gonna speed through this and then get to the next feature. Okay guys, so I just wrapped that up and I've added some warmth to the photo, some color, played with the noise reduction, some shadows here, so it's looking pretty good. So now what we can do to go back to the menu to see everything else, we can go to this arrow here, we can go down to create new mask, and we can start making other adjustments if we want. Now just to answer this question, I don't see a way to change the sky. So you will still have to use Photoshop for that, but this is a great way to just edit the sky on its own within Lightroom. And if you need to do a sky replacement, you can go in Photoshop to do that, transfer the photo back to Lightroom and make any adjustments that you would need in the Lightroom software. So that is very cool to have now. And I'm excited about that feature. And now let's talk about presets. Now that we've gone over this new brush and mask menu, so under presets here, or actually under the levels tool here, where we can make adjustments to the overall photo, um, under the presets tab, if we select that, we now have a recommended option. And I think that this is really cool. So it'll analyze your photo and then it'll search the community for a ton of different presets. And once it finds the best presets for the photo, it'll then recommend it to you. Typically, I never really used presets, but this new preset tool is really awesome, and I like how it can automatically analyze the photo and come up with some awesome presets. And I already like how some of these look, not that one so much, but like that looks really cool. The one that we were just on up here, I think that looks really awesome. So there's a bunch of awesome presets here from the Lightroom community. Of course, there's much more to this update and I still have to fully dive into it, but this was just a brief overview of what is new with Lightroom. I'm definitely going to be coming out with a more in-depth video on Lightroom, a tutorial for beginners. 
So if you're interested in that, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. And also make sure to hit the like button. That way it helps the video rank higher in the algorithm. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.